okay, I'm shooting this video because I just put up a video uh, and I had my niece pre-filling this drywall and somebody's like, oh, don't do that, that's a hack, that's a hack. I, I don't understand that at all because why do you think they invented Durabond in the first place? I mean, trust me, 46 years ago when I started taping, Durabond was invented to pre-fill these seams. You had two types of drywall. You had tapered edge and you had SW board. This is tapered edge because you don't see SW board anymore. But if you had SW board, you better pre-fill it. You, you'd never even be able to tape it because if you went to wipe the tape, your knife wouldn't hit the tape. There, would, there was such a big bevel in there that your knife wouldn't even hit the tape on SW board. But tapered edge board, they, they brought it out a little bit. They just left the little bevel there. But the, <laughs> the concept is still the same. You pre-fill not to build this out, but you are building this out a little bit. If I didn't pre-fill, I'd be three-coating these seams. If I just tape the seam, and, and I would have to put three coats on top of it. I'd have to, because it would shrink up too much. It would be too much of a bevel here. But I can take my knife here and stick it on any of these seams. If they're not crowned, there's nothing wrong here. I actually see a little light in here, too. So there's still a little light coming through here, because it needs a little bit more mud. Um, but you pre-fill to make this wall from 40 feet away to back one solid piece of drywall. This is going to be one solid piece of drywall now since I've pre-filled it and taped it. If I did not pre-fill this, this wall is going to crack. I absolutely, positively, 100% guarantee this wall is going to crack. Right now, there's probably a 60%, 70% chance that this wall is going to crack, but not a 100% chance, you know, because the length of the wall, it's over 40 feet. That's why, if you look, if you can see it on the ceiling, there's that little thing on the ceiling, that's my control joint. 100% guarantee you that this wall is going to crack if it is not pre-filled. 100%. It, it, it has to. It's common sense that it has to. So pre-fill people. I don't know why the younger generation has gotten away from it, but it was there for a reason. It's there to make these walls stronger and better. <laughs> Little side note here. Everybody's, oh, you shouldn't have stood it down. You shouldn't have laid it down. It's done that for a reason too. If I laid these down, you're talking butt joint, I, I probably could have gotten away with the header here, so I wouldn't have had a butt joint here, but butt joint, butt joint, butt joint, butt joint, butt joint. I would have had just as much boxing on butt joints as I did on all of these seams. I would have used probably more mud and had just as much, if not more, boxing and mud on these butt joints as I have on these seams. Plus, I would have had the entire seam to do too. So. Truthfully, <laughs> this is the way to go on a wall like this. If I had 12 footers, absolutely I would have laid these down. It wouldn't have even made sense to stand them up if these were 12 footers. I can't get 12 footers down here. All I can get is eight footers. So that's why they're stood up. It's made it easier on the hangers. I'm using less mud and there is not going to be a problem here. Listen, if there was gonna be a problem here, I would have laid it down. If I prime this out with USG first coat, you are going to see nothing, absolutely nothing. It's going to be perfect. So you guys, again, have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.